Okay. So this patient's coming in for a lesion that's been growing on the left side of his cheek for quite a while now. How long would you say that's been there for? Oh, it's been there for quite a while. Quite a while. Yeah. We're working with Dr. Jane again. What do you think that might be, Dr. Jane? Um, could be a basal cell carcinoma. Yeah, so what type of uh, carcinomas can we see with the skin? Um, so you have squamous cell, yeah. uh, basal cell, yeah. uh, and then melanoma. Yeah. There's also Merkel cell, which gets a bit more diffuse. Then you get things like uh, cutaneous forms of other cancers, lymphomas, Kaposi's sarcoma, that type of thing. Um, but see this, the tissue looks pretty normal through here. I have a feeling this is more going to be like an irritated Seb K more than anything else. But to your point, those differentials would still apply. Um, and just keep in mind, those are all named after just the cell type. So there's three cell types of the epidermis, and that's the squamous cells, the basal cells, and the melanocytes, which is why the cancer's named like that. So this has been growing for a little time. So we froze underneath this and we'll clip this. He also has, if you just pan back here, you can see the top of his scalp. See these growths that are here. What are these, Dr. Jane? Uh, keratotic horns. Yeah, so keratin horns, keratotic horns, cutaneous horns. Um, the issue here is most of these are benign. One third of them can sometimes be associated with precancerous changes. So this we would actually treat with liquid nitrogen treatments. If they get away in us sometimes radiation treatments and he's having that done as well. You can't take that off in one fell swoop. It's, it's a little bit uh, too far gone for that. But this lesion we're gonna take off and see how we do with things. So um, does that hurt at all there when I no, do that? No, no, that's fine. So he's been in my practice for how long now? How long have you been in my practice for now? I think since you started. So about 25 years now? Yeah, and you, I signed a, you, I, I signed a form. You were checking who you were going to take. Yeah, the ministry had just checked that yeah. when we started. And yeah. I started with you. He passed away. Yeah, how long were you guys married? Oh, long 75 time, years. 75 years, which yeah. is pretty incredible. She's a wonderful lady. We, uh, and I had your brother look after her back, and he did a fine job. How's he doing? Okay. He's doing well, actually. Good. That doesn't hurt when I squeeze there? No. How is he? He's good, actually. He's big boy now. He is, actually. He's oh tall. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> is he going to be a chiropractor? I'm not sure what he's going to do. <laughs> Yeah, your brother fixed my wife's back up with a wonderful. See, That's good. A little boy hit her on the back with his bicycle in the park. And, oh, that's too bad. But she, we got good results from him. He was a good Yeah, he he's a good, good at what he does. He is, yeah. he is. So this is just cautery here, so if we okay. can... That doesn't hurt at all? No, that doesn't hurt at all. So we want to sort of see if we can just cauterize that nicely, because as long as we get a nice base, this will actually heal quite nice. That's not hurting? No, that doesn't hurt at all. Okay. No, no pain at all. So when they're bleeding briskly with this, just want to make sure we put pressure right on it, and then right on the edge when I take it off. That's where I want to be putting the cautery. And then once we get to mostly stop. Just going to turn your head just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. And that's what I want to see, just a nice scaling bed just like so that. So how many years have we been with you, Doc? Uh, probably about 25. I think so. Yeah. And he now lives about two hours away, but he still comes down and sees me. Yeah. So this all I use the scalpel for is just to clean up the edge, just from a cosmetic perspective. As long as there's no big three, to see that there's a little bit of three-dimensional component there, that I want to take off. Because the scaling otherwise will heal nicely if it's just uh, a cauterized center. So once I have it down to that level, I just cauterize that a little bit more. That's not hurting? No, no pain at all. Can't Good. feel it. Perfect. No, and that's what we want. Nothing, nice, nothing at all. Nice scaling bit like that. Yeah. And we'll leave that alone. That'll fall off in about two weeks, and that should heal nicely for him. Okay. Just like that. Very good. That's great.